All right. Hello and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Uh, we're continuing our sort of one mission every day because I have no self-control. Uh, anywho. <laughs> As opposed to, you know, somehow, like, putting this in for a full stream, I can't handle it. I gotta, I gotta play at least once every day. <laughs> so here we go! Uh, last time, um, it was supposed to be only one mission and then fall in Vegas, but I didn't have any setup time because I'm redoing my kitchen. So, uh, so yeah, he's <laughs> like that. How's it going? But yeah. You and I will travel a ways together. All right. I will teach you all I know, and you will destroy he who has taken my place. All right, so let's see here. I believe we gold starred the high priestess finally. Hey, Chris Tiger, how's it going? We figured out that actually helping the dudes out of the avalanches actually gives you a blessing. Uh, I believe... Did we also... I think we might have done... We might have done all of these, which is crazy. But yeah, um... Oh, no, no, I think we did this one. Started with this one. But yeah, we had to uh, gather artifacts for the Emperor. Uh, we had to do that twice because I failed the first time. I actually died. Um, the Hierophant was an interesting one. We had to gather clues and figure out who the assassin was. Basically, you just look for conflicting information and there's your assassin. And then uh, the Lovers was an interesting one where it was basically a... It was basically, you know, the most dreaded escort quest ever. Oh, interesting, Crystal Tiger, huh? Yeah, a, a freaking A. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess we'll be starting with the Chariot today and see how that goes. Uh, we unlocked a few things last time, so I want to check out some new weapons and whatnot, so let's, uh, let's do this. The symbol of victory over oppression. Control and will. Right, Properties see. I understand well, and you will learn. See, a plague of corruption is spreading through the downtrodden uh, dissidents of the old city. Aid Estrella and her loyal soldiers, um, and find any way uh, for the citizen to escape. All right, defeat as many corrupted as possible to find the source of the plague. You will need to demonstrate great precision in order to win the day. So we're going to see a lot more of those pendulum things. And save innocent townsfolk to access more stock and options at camp. Okay. So... Let's... We'll choose that after. Let's, let's choose our encounters first. We, uh, we actually got some more, like side quest tokens, which is kind of cool. Let me see here. We never did, uh, dealing with thieves. Let's see here. We got a lot of new ones. I think we might go for just unlocking this time around. Just to see what's available. Because we've unlocked all these guys. Let's just go ahead and, like, try to figure out what all of these are. Now, of course, this is dangerous, because we're essentially choosing unlocking or rather, identifying what does what, rather than, um, rather than actually, uh, <laughs> like, basically rigging our deck so that we do really, really well. But, uh, we, we could do that with equipment. So let's go back, we'll try to figure out as many of these cards as possible. And then let me see here. I haven't gotten Billy Clubs yet, so I want to check those out. I believe Cardinal Blade, Blade actually does more damage against... Oh, I thought this did more damage against... Oh yeah, 42 Corrupted, so yeah, we'll definitely grab that. I want to get Dark Thirst as well, that sounds cool. Sacrificial Blades does. This would be like an unlocking and like identifying. Blinding Brew. Get a couple of those going, see how that is. Dark Robe Ring. Alright, cool. So let's see what else. Oh yeah? Alright, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Alright, let's see. So... Oh, we can slow the swing and stun blast. Oh, Lord's Diadem's really good here. Yeah, definitely having that for this mission's great. Nice. That'll help out a ton. Alright, cool. 
then let's pick our supplies. Now, I actually uh, got one of the axes completely unlocked, so let's try to unlock one of these. You know this one's reposting. There's also healing spirits. Yeah, let's go with the brigand's blades and try that out. And, um... Let's go with food. And since this is precision... Tough one. So he does the Berserker charge, which is really nice with the blades. Yeah. Let's go with that. I mean this is this will be mostly unlocking trying to figure out what we're supposed to do here, but I think we've got some decent equipment that'll help us out. So let's go ahead and start this. This corruption spreads across the breadth of the Empire. It even touches me. My power keeps it at bay. But these are the seals that Callus has attempted and failed to place upon my return. Okay, cool. Uh, Sir Malafal uh, looks down at the back of his steed, um, at the soldiers' uh, lined rank and file before him. The city is lost to plague, he uh, says dryly. Uh, we will not waste another soldier on this place. He gives a final command. In the name of the Emperor, prepare to withdraw. Block the gatehouses. Let no one through. At sunrise, burn the city to the ground. And without hesitation, the soldiers march down the cobbled streets toward the western gatehouse. A single soldier remains, a captain. She removes her helm to reveal um, a quiff of golden hair and an eye patch concealing a wound from a uh, battle long ago. She approaches you in the kill room. Let me see here. Whoa, zero of six. Oh my gosh, really? There's no sense like a cat here. There we go. Many citizen people will die uh, come morning if nothing is done to correct the injustice, uh, she claims. I ask of you uh, to aid my men on the search uh, for citizens to escort uh, out of the old city. Hurry, nightfall fast approaches. Wow. Is that our goal? Is that we have to get z if we have to get 60 citizens saved? Oh no, this isn't gonna be like I have to go in combat and then like I have to make sure that they don't die to like in combat. Oh man, that would suck. Uh, ask some questions. Uh, nightfall approaches. Ask quick. Uh, let's see. Ask about the plan. I anticipated Malfell's intentions, and my scouts have made preparations. To the southwest is a gatehouse abandoned when the uh, infestation broke through. If we can clear the corrupted from this district, we can escort any citizen through the minimal resist with mineral resistance. Okay. Oh, so that already revealed that. That's interesting. Ask who she is. I am Captain Fjord, uh, she says with a bow. I've been commanding my regiment uh, on the northern border. My troops and I were recalled to the old city... Uh, and we're ready to march uh, back to the capital. However, it appears the Empire has neglected its people in our absence. I cannot abandon those uh, we have sworn to protect. Okay. It's about the old city. The old city was once the hub of the world. The great artisans, traders, and merchants would travel from far and wide to sell their wares here. While it houses many, is a shadow of its former glory. A muddle uh, of streets alight in light of the plague, and many roads have been blocked. Oh, interesting. Ask about the plague? A terrible tragedy to be sure, while the Empire's eyes on the northern border it is uh, abandoned its people um, to the uh, unnatural plague. Don't be fooled. It is no ordinary malady. Its affliction maddens and uh, warps the minds of uh, those it corrupts, uh, turning friend, family, or lover into mindless agent of hate and aggression. Uh, the Empire is right to fear the rapid spread and potential reach. However, um, there are many who call the city home uh, who have not been damned, not yet. It is these souls I intend to save this night. Alright, let's begin the quest. My coachman will follow uh, and transport any citizens you might find along the way. If you are lucky, uh, they may be of assistance in our travels. Search the streets and kill the infected. Uh, I will send word when the way is cleared. Save the citizens. Um, oh, saved citizens will add options at campfires. Interesting. Alright. Everywhere the rot touches, and everywhere bears its stains. The pauper street 
uh, the Pauper District has been hit by looters, uh, leaving shops with broken windows and empty shelves. What are you sacrificing when you stop to help them? Have you asked yourself that? Uh, you happen upon a group of frightened peasants desperately seeking safety. You hear the Empire uh, has not been in the city. They cry, please help us. Uh, you explain Captain Fiora's plan to help them um, and help them to the wagons. Uh, we're grateful, a woman says as she steps into the carriage. I haven't much food, <clears throat> but should you need some, I'll be willing to trade. More food's available at campfires. Alright, looks like you're citizens as well. Alright. We pass through without incident. Streets. Surgery must be done with precision if it is to be effective. You find yourself surrounded by the corrupted horde that broke through the gatehouse and wandered into the district. They shuffle mindlessly back and forth on the spot, um, limbs uh, twitching, seemingly unaware of your presence. Let's ambush them. Uh, Kjolbron readies his sword. The pendulum is ever changing. And the challenges it presents change, too. Okay, I don't think I can go for the gold, to be honest. That's too crazy. Hey, Jannar, how's it going? We're doing one mission of Hand of Fate 2 before we head on to Morrowind Tamriel or Bill. I could have done that. Okay. So that's like a success, not that like a major success. That will set you in good success. stead from here. Alright, the dealer moves one monster card. That'll definitely help. The remaining infected stand idly, watching and uh, picking up their swords. Together, you and Kjolborn uh, rush the remaining enemies. Ooh, I timed that poorly. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Uh, the Keep infected uh, push you back um, before you can strike. Uh, they surrounded you. They surround you frenzied. Oh boy. Luckily, I did include an item that slows down the pel pendulum. Oh yeah, here's the brigand's blades. Mm, try these out now that we've sort of gotten comfortable with axes. Alright, a sharp knife quickly uh, applied under the cover of night has long been the tool of footpads and criminals. We will finish Try practicing blocking today. I usually like dodging more in, uh, in combat like this, but uh, it seems like blocking is very important, especially when you're surrounded like that. All right, that appears to be the last of them. Kilborn remarks. We return to your journey um, through the winding streets. Cool. Uh, let me take a look at my. Game often offers you a choice. 
Sometimes they are both poor choices, however. Deep in the woods, they still know magic. It will be lost there last. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Is that okay I think that's working let me try this it might be a little loud I am right here and we have things to okay. do all right I think I fixed it weird sorry about that um, I haven't had that problem in a very long time how odd thanks for letting me know though all right let's continue let's see recover some valuables from your fallen opponents all right nice some food oh, that was a bit it Okay. All right. Dash through the labyrinth of slum uh, streets in the city center. Some still fight, yet they must know their time is near. Uh, here we go. The uh, unmistakable sound of combat alerts you to a group of townsfolk being attacked by the infected. One brave warrior struggles to hold back the horde. You rush to their aid. So I think here's the issue. I can't let any of them die, or else I think I fail the uh, the gold of the mission. So I have to be very careful and sort of treat this like the uh, lover's mission. Except it's like friggin' five potato guys. Let's do this. That's so weird. I haven't had that happen forever. I've tried. I've changed the hardware. I've tried. I've changed the software. I don't even know what it is.
Well, actually, next step we take, I'll gain 25 life. So that'll work. Hey, I saved five citizens. Wonderful. You arrived just in time, the war explains. I don't, um, think I could have held them off much longer. Uh, I could part with some equipment, he continues. I don't think uh, it will do me much good now. Uh, see me if you're interested in a trade. Okay, uh, more equipment's available for purchase at the campfire. Alright. Do so you explain uh, Captain Fjord's plans? Uh, tell the survivors uh, on the wagons. The stench of corruption flows across the cities, tainting everything it touches. Alright, we bring word from Captain Fjord. Uh, the soldier explains with salute. The infected horde at the next gatehouse has subsided. The dealer removes corruption counter on the map. Oh, nice. Uh, but there's a problem. Corruption grows from the ground itself, blocking all passage uh, for wagons. It must be destroyed. Uh, she asks that we join you in your efforts. The soldier continues. Should you require assistance, uh, you only need to ask. Ooh! Prior to combat, uh, optionally drawn Empire Ally card. Uh, can be used before five combats, or seven if Estrella is your companion. Then discard this card. Wow, nice. <laughs> awesome, Lila. Alright, let's keep going. Thanks for the life, guys. I need that. Alright, let me see here. Signs of mass departure everywhere. Homes and empty, uh, stand empty. Um, all that remains are coming ruins. Okay, new new paths discovered. Alright, let's go back. Finding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Uh, weapons bristle from the trees around you. They're wielders, faces obscured by the undergrowth. Um, give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Alright, I'm going to try and attempt some reposts here. So bear with me. We'll have to see how this works. Um, no, I'm good. Continue. I'm still getting used to the combat. I did figure out yesterday that, remember I was saying how the game was very unresponsive in some cases? That was my bad. That's because I'm playing in windowed mode and there's like literally a pixel that puts me on the side of the window. Got him. Ah, damn it. You do have to be facing them, it seems. Oh, I see. I see how to do it now. You actually have to block and then attack. Interesting. I think I only did it one time there. I see how that works now. So you almost have to be holding block and then click. You can't, like, hold block, release, then click. Interesting. It's sort of a two-combo thing. With the coward subdued, uh, the thugs plead for their lives. Uh, please, for peace sake, we only want to feed our families. Uh, what else would you have us do? Interesting. Let's let them go free. Thank you, adventurer. We will spread word of your mercy. Get some fame there, why not? Oh, and let's check this out first. Our more city streets, sign of mass departure everywhere. Homes are empty, all remains are crumbling ruins. Judge of corruption. Alright, let's ambush the corrupted. Oh, that was actually pretty damn close. Okay, that'll knock one of the monster cards out. Nice. Let's try again. Nice, another success. Nicely timed. Alright, removed another monster card. 
Despite your efforts, uh, the remaining infected close in. And we're good. We don't need... I should camp soon. I'm gonna let them sort of come close and then... Yeah, I think the gold's a uh, great success, right? I really do need to learn the block. Alright, gain four fame. More street paths. Interesting. Alright, let's camp here. Do not take too long. The city falls around you. Alright, you approach the horse-drawn wagons. Captain Fior's soldiers stand attention, and a head, uh, head coachman tips the brim of his hood. Uh, we'll transport uh, any people you find in these warrens, he explains. Uh, just keep the wagon out of trouble. Alright, let's... I can't sell any equipment. Let's see if I can buy any food. Oh wow, extremely reduced. Well, let's buy all these. Buy. One gold for one food. How worth it. Let's finish trading. Let's cook food. Stick with that for right now. Great camp. All right, let's check this out. Learn the future at your own peril. You think I have not turned to oracles and augries in order to see how this ends? I only know it all ends in death. Interesting. We were about to embark on a quest uh, for the uh, mayor of a small town when a young, strangely dressed woman shouts to you, Beware, Stranger 5, Senior Future in Danger Awaits. Hey, Commander Sloth, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, for but a few coins, she continues while uh, gripping your arm, I can tell you of your coming misfortunes. Uh, sure, let's accept and pay four gold to learn about our future. Um, you hand over the gold, uh, and they vanish into the woman's robes. Um... She focuses on you, thinking for a moment, and tells you the outcome of your quest. Wow. Oh, interesting! She's showing me all of the pain, injury, and, like, health cards. Interesting. Huh. Now that you know your fate, what will you do? Go on the mayor's quest as planned. Uh, suit yourself, the woman remarks, uh, suddenly disinterested. She turns and enters the tavern and, uh, to order her usual drink. Uh, the next day you stride into the forest, intent on hunting uh, down the brigands um, that have been harrying the town. Uh, the quest goes off to a bad start. Some brigands ambush you with a hail of arrows before uh, slinking back in the forest. You stumble upon a band of brigands as they raid um, an apple orchard, looking um, thin and uh, wretched. They beg for your food. Um, you give them some supplies in exchange for living. Oh, no way! Okay, so all of those cards we saw are actually going to happen to us. And, and we're basically reading through how that happened. Interesting. So we're going to lose that one food. We lost that health. Interesting. You begin your journey back to the village. A pair of apples from your daily supplies turn out to be enchanted for the gods. Nice. Uh, you save a local farmer uh, from a hungry bugbear, uh, taking a few hits for your trouble. Now, uh, a chance encounter um, with an Amphisiobina? Amphisbina? 
uh, leaves you with poison in your veins. Uh, your wandering, your wanderings lead you to the site of a rebel, uh, a recent battle uh, between Empire Northern warriors. You search the scene for anything useful. So interesting. If I didn't like the outcomes there, I could have done Is that. Is truth really so glowing? Do you think? You have much to learn. I guess we could equip that. Nice. The farmer you rescued from the bugbear delivers some supplies as thanks. Buy more food. Uh, with the brigand situation resolved, the mayor, the mayor sends a lackey to uh, with your payment. Interesting. The quest over, you uh, wonder how much was by your choice and how much was predetermined. That's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a random thing where you could lose and gain at the same time. And you can sort of like see what's going to happen to you and be like, all right, I'll accept all those all those options. Or you could say no. Interesting. All right, let's look at the city streets. Hey, grateful citizens. Nice. Let's help them. We gain eight more citizens. Wonderful. More foods available at the campfire. Yeah, maybe if I had more gold, it would change it. Well, what's interesting is we did identify that card. That's partially why I've, I've had some of these things. Oh, thanks to the food guys. I appreciate that. And we got your more shit, more the shitty streets, city streets. Mass departure. Um, oh, from here I can see other paths. And more sh uh, city streets. No new paths discovered. All right, let's head to those dwarves. Making deals with the guild. Oh, not dwarves, thieves. I can only think this will end poorly for both of us. Uh, against your better judgment, you decide to appeal to the Thieves Guild for their patronage to help you fund the journey ahead. Oh my. I'm either thinking, I think that's maybe two or three. What do you guys think? You think two as well? Let's check it out. Hey, we were right. Uh, some of the guild members are sympathetic towards your cause and offer uh, support in the future. Okay. The dealer will add your uh, select game cards to the deck. Oh, wow. So I can, oh, wow. So basically, okay, anytime we would gain something, these could be the options. Let's go for the gold. Oh wait, we get all of them? Oh, we get two of them. Oh, that's fine. Uh, the rest of the guild members shows little interest in getting involved with your mis uh, adventures. Nice. The dealer uh, adds game cards to the deck. You gain few fame. That's nice. That's actually a really nice card. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing Nigma. How's it going? Good to see you. Alright, so I think we can head to the next level. 21 of 60 citizens saved. Further into the city, with more yet to be saved. Okay. The smell of rotting flesh lingers in the air. The gatehouse uh, tower looms over you. Uh, its sides encrusted with the taint of corruption. The captain greets you as you approach. What? What are these? Um, is as the scouts reported, Kilborn says, that corruption will block the path uh, for the wagons. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that obsolete. Cool. Uh, now make haste. I'll protect the wagons uh, with my scouts. You two clear the way. All right, I guess we'll uh, attack the infected. I don't have all the citizens, though. I'm hoping there's another level involved. I mean, let me check something for a second. Because we've, we've been everywhere, have we not? Yeah, we've been everywhere. We'll have to see how this works. I guess we, we attack the infected?
Alright, you draw your weapon and prepare to face the infected. Uh, yes, we will definitely use uh, Estrella's Allegiance. Get some more people helping us out. Alright. Let's do this. So what is that thing? The land itself uh, becomes shattered, shambling, and broken. Attacks with a uh, burst of corruption that snare and damage their uh, targets. Use evade to avoid their attacks or change direction rapidly to break free. Wow, that's awful. Okay, we need to get rid of that pretty much right away. just been doing damage to them so reliably oh gosh that uh most of them are really close to death Captain Fiora addresses you. Um, you have a steady swing, excellent soldier. Um, it will be more difficult from here on. I bear uh, no ill will towards you. Um, if you choose to leave now, we'll continue to the next district. Uh, as the captain's scouts uh, lead the wagons through the uh, next district uh, and seal the gates, you ascend to the gatehouse tower. Oh, gotcha. I could have finished the mission there if I wanted to. What but is if it I want the to towers will citizens. watch over? A stream of death and despair? Alright. The tower provides uh, by a commanding view over the impressive city. 
Uh, as you pause to catch your breath, you watch the last of the sun's rays disappear over the horizon. Kilborn uh, shakes uh, your shoulder and points over the battlements to the south. Really? Um, there you see the uh, final gatehouse, its tower rising um, from the wall in the city to the south. Okay, dealer uh, adds a corruption counter to the map. Okay, wow. Have you ever seen so many Kjolborn um, remarks as you uh, watch the infected swarm the city wall? How can the Empire let its people suffer so? Kjolborn mutters under his breath, um, and then abandon those in need. The dealer adds more blight cards to the deck. Um, as you continue to look, a small glow appears on the horizon beyond the perimeter. First one, then another, then another. The Empire, Kjolborn cries. They're preparing to burn the city. We must get uh, the people to safety. Let us hope we are not too late. Hot damn, I need to camp. Alright, we need uh, to cook some food. Because we got hurt pretty bad there. Really? Nice, nice. Alright, that'll, that'll do us for right now. Let's break camp. Unless, well, let me see if uh, maybe we can get some equipment. Buy equipment. What does Gambler's Jewel do? Oh, it yeah, adds plus two to the score of, uh, of dice gambits. That is very interesting. This plus kill board could actually, like, make the difference in some uh, instances. We'll say no for right now, but uh, we have it identified at least, which is nice. Alright, let's finish trading. Break camp. Alright. Dead bodies looted the streets while rats scurry in search of a feast. Oh boy. Oh. Oh fuck. Ambush the corrupted. Gobron readies his sword. I need more equipment cards. Oh gosh, really? Well, this is absolutely terrifying. Jeez. Remove the monster card. Okay. I'm gonna try to go for the gold. Oh, 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 yes. Breathe. You have done well. Uh, remove two monster cards. All right. Despite the best efforts, the remaining infected clothes in. Uh, we're good, right? <laughs> Please let me get some better equipment. I do not like these knives at all. Appears uh, to be the last of Kilburn remarks. Uh, you continue your journey uh, through the winding streets. Hey, Teradax, how's it going? Good to see you. We're doing a mission of Hand of Fate, and then we'll be moving on to Morrowind. All right. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. The Empire intends to staunch the uh, infection with fire. You pick up the pace. No other paths. Oh, you do see other paths. Okay. I've said my piece on gnomes. The company you kept to get you here is strange indeed. 
interesting. As you trundle along uh, in your horse-drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky gnomes fleeing with your weapon. Um, you chase them on foot until uh, they drive you into a burrow. You take a peek uh, into their hiding hole and discover that they have uh, quite a cache of weapons in their lair. You reach your arm into the hole. This one. Oh, I was, kinda didn't want these blades back. Don't hurt us, they cry. Um, they stand back, uh, they, uh, they hand back your stolen item. The little door uh, slams shut. <laughs> the little round door slams shut as you draw your weapon from the barrel. The weapon of footpads and vagabonds. I mean, I guess. Oh yeah, nice. I guess. Jeez. Oh, thanks for the 25 luck, guys. Appreciate that. It's probably came soon. Careful, your supplies are running low. With a terrible crash, the building beside you struck uh, by a flaming catapult shot. The building heaves and twists from the impact and uh, crushes or crumbles across the street in front of you. Uh, Kyoborn shields the, uh, their eyes from the blaze. Quickly, we must find another way. You turn the wagons around and search for another road through the district. Interesting. It's camp. Okay, I need more food. Luckily, these guys are really nice when it comes to getting food. Let's buy two more food and keep ten gold on us. Hooray! Trading? Yeah. Alright. Spread of the plague has rendered the district a blackened maze. The crust of contagion warps cobblestones and weakens foundations, making prog uh, progress perilous. Uh, you pass through without incident. Alright. Check these other paths. Hey, thanks for the 20 gold, guys. Appreciate that. Um, the uh, putrefaction has ravaged this part of the city, narrow alleyways, uh, which never see the light of day, harbor nothing but misery and pestilence. They believe fire will purge this sickness. But the sickness is not in the city. It is in the land itself. It will be purged, but not like this. A wounded, peasants, uh, a wounded peasant runs stumbling down the street, chased by a horde of corrupted. Uh, fight the corrupted. You ready your weapon as the horde draws near. Um, we're good. I got it. We're at full health. We got a decent amount of food. I'd like a better weapon. I think I'll start with the soldier sword from now on, to be honest. Even though I believe that one's like you have to do something against northerners, but whatever. Alright. The rock grants power before uh, it grants release. Muscle replaced with darkness, organs pumping black bile through shattered veins. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to be knocked down and their health is low. Use the finisher before they recover. Those cities are tainted. I have told them. On the picnic table, bam! <laughs> All right, I'm sweet.
All right. With the horde defeated, the townsfolk rush to tend to the peasants. Uh, they are grateful for your protection. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Hi, Evanovic. How's it going? We're just doing one mission, and then we'll head to uh, Morwing. It looks like we've got two failures in this mix, so I gotta hope to not get them. Unfortunately, I have nothing to, to offer you. This. Grateful for their lives, they load the wagon. You You've saved five takes. citizens. Son of a bitch. Alright, the spread of the plague has rendered the district a blackened maze. Uh, crusted contagion warps the cobblestones, all that stuff. Oh, it's one of these. Alright, we have to ambush them. success maybe maybe that's the problem is I'm looking at them to try to avoid them when in reality I should be looking at something else to like do have my focus go elsewhere it's kind of weird anywho uh, rain of blows fells group of infected before they can respond all right That was so close! This is gonna suck! We can do it though. Uh, um I don't know how many more levels. Let's continue. Good gravy. Oh, one of them isn't the freaking pillar. Yeah, yeah, they changed it up so it's not just the shuffling cards. Now it's like the, the spinning wheel. Oh my gosh. Charge him! You know what? The thing is, they're almost there. They're almost there. If they just, like, tweaked it a little bit more, like, one of the problems I actually have with this game, and I mentioned this before, is it's so close to, like, like, Batman and Witcher combat, but it just doesn't, like, it, like it's so close that it actually messes with me because, like, things don't, they're not immediate, I feel like. Or, like, sometimes I do press buttons and, like, it either doesn't detect the block. Like, it's almost there to becoming really good combat, but it's not quite there. I don't know what it is, but it's really close. But no, sometimes... You know what, that would be an interesting thing if, if maybe, like, you're not a fan of the combat. Adding, like, another, um... 
adding another sort of card-based system would be interesting. But yeah, I did, uh, so the control issues basically is, if my mouse goes over here, I can technically click the window, and that's what's happening, is, um, unfortunately, when you do a uh, windowed mode, there's actually, like, at least two pixels where you can click the window, and it puts your mouse outside the screen. So, uh, that's just some unfortunate thing when it comes to how it works. Uh, let me see here. Alright, we will reveal some other paths. I want to try to save as many citizens as possible, so we're just going as much as we can. Alright, more paths. The stench of death is upon oh. everything here. We understand that, you and I. The miasma hangs in the air, thick and redolent of the dead uh, things trapped in the dark waters. Uh, just walking this path has been known uh, to leave travelers with a long, uh, a lifelong cough. You spy an old carriage through the fog, its wheels locked in the mire. The occupants either uh, fled or were eaten by inhabitants of the swamp long ago. Since the fog is thickest around the rotting timbers, um, there are many valuables within. Uh, enveloped by a thick cloud of marsh gas, you carefully make your way across some stones to a fallen log, uh, towards your target. Patience, do not move Let's just too go for the normal for success here. I don't want to go crazy. Failure. Uh, you make your way to the carriage and discover an old crate. Uh, the lock rips from the, uh, sodden wood, giving you access to the equipment inside. Oh, we're definitely taking the Lord's Diadem. Uh, defeat corrupted enemies, cause a short stun to nearby enemies, and reduces the swing of precision gambits. Hell yeah. You know my thoughts on priests and their ilk. Interesting. So this that's actually a really good card, the Fetid Fens. As long as you're willing to, uh, to get rid of 10 life, you gain uh, basically any equipment card that you choose. Alright, you feel the wetlands? Although the taint of the stench lingers with you. Nice, that was great actually. Starvation oh, wait, what? has been the end of many adventurers. Don't tell me I, I, like, every couple of turns I get minus 10 health because of that. Okay, maybe it's not worth it then. Oh, the river water is now putrid green. Um, emanates a miasma that, uh, turned your stomach. Oh, maybe that was, uh, this, just landing on this. Okay, another flaming shot. Hey, thanks for the five food, guys. Appreciate that. Oh, man, I was actually out of food and I didn't realize it. All right. All right. If there is a ah, finer mind than my own, I've yet to meet it. Yet, I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world and must suffer the results. All right. Wounded peasants run stumbling down the street chased by a horde of corrupted. Let's fight the corrupted. You ready your weapon as the horde draws near. Uh, we're good. But yeah, now we have something that should be able to help us against the corrupted. When they die, it actually like releases like a stunning blow or something. Nice! That's fantastic. No corrupted remaining. With the horde defeated, the townsfolk rushed to, rushed to tend the peasants. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, we gained fame. And five citizens. 
Oh, we bring word from the captain, uh, Strella, the soldier explains with a salute. The infected horde at the gatehouse has subsided. Okay. Uh, it is as before, the gate is blocked by more layers of corruption. The wagons cannot get through, it must be destroyed. Uh, thank you, uh, you thank the scouts and assure them that you'll head to the gate gatehouse in due course. Alright, we need to camp. Let's, uh, trade. I try to just do it as soon as possible to hopefully hit something that wasn't failure. I mean, failure is not a bad thing in this case. Now, let's buy some food here. Good. And uh, let's cook some food. Actually, let's see if we can buy some equipment. Yes, thank you. Give me a different weapon. Holy shit. What do we got? Ooh, there we go. It does reset after a quest, yes. And there are some quests where, like, you definitely suffer because of not having enough. Yeah, so. So, let's see. Perform a powerful strike that causes 200% damage uh, on a single target when activated. Um, requires less damage to cause knockdown to corrupted enemies. If I had this in the beginning, we would have been done by now. Alright. And defeat 50 corrupted enemies with this weapon to unlock the token. I wish we had this earlier. Yes, we are equipping this. Holy shit, I'm way better with two-handed weapons. Uh, finish trading. Cook some food. We might still get the token. We'll have to see, though. Or at least, it'll help a ton having this weapon. Alright, let's go with 69 life, because you never want to undo that. Yeah, yeah, right, now that the corruption have been defeated, right? Alright. With oh. every step, corruption reaches further. Alright. And um, your chances become less. You spy a group of poor urchins loitering in the alley. Uh, they look hungry. As you approach, they scramble uh, into a pile of discarded crates. Explain that you're there to help. Uh, how do we know you're not one of them, one cries. How do you know you're not sick like one of those monsters, says another. They remain huddled, huddled behind the crates. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, it's step-based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have... Yeah, I have five more steps, and then I gain the reward. So, technically, I could actually just, like bait the game horribly and just be like, okay guys, I need you to vote for anything good, and then I like go back and forth between cards randomly. I don't want to lose eight food, so I'm going to try to catch them. You and Kilborn, uh, look to herd the children together. That will set you in good stead from here. I think it's percentage. You successfully grab some of the children before they make their escape. Uh, you load them to the wagons and assure them of their safety. The remaining urchins remain unreachable. Um, it's no use. Uh, some of the food would coax them... Uh, oh, maybe some of the food would coax them from hiding. Alright, let's offer the children food. Lose four food. Okay, if we didn't do that, we probably wouldn't have gotten the gold for this. It's assuming we survive. Last, uh, children come out of hiding and snatch up the food. Their trust gained. Uh, they board the wagons and resume the journey. Ah, you know that in front of you, um... Uh, knowing what's in front of you allows you to pick a safe path through the wilds. I almost want to say one. What do you guys think? Yeah? Alright, let's go for it. Oh, you saw four. Let's try it. Oh! Close is right. The wilds uh, are welcoming. Um, what? The wilds are welcoming the bountiful, uh, plentiful. You feel soothed, reinvigorated by your exploration. Wait, what? I failed and I actually gained life. I mean, that's not that bad. Right, city streets. Even in the midst oh. of terrors, 
there will always be traders who stayed too long hoping to profit. You find a merchant and his family. You explain the Captain Fiora's plan, help the merchant and his family into the wagons. Eight citizens, nice. Uh, thank you, the merchant says, boarding the wagon. Should you find yourself in short of gold, I'll be happy to give you a good price on any equipment you want to trade. Nice. Yeah. Alright, what do you got here? Smoke fills the city. Shit. Oh, thanks for the, uh, the health, guys. Alright, I'm gonna have to walk around. Thanks for the life. Alright, I just want to get the city streets to get all citizens if possible. Yep, here we go. Alright, ambush the corrupted. I'm gonna try to get gold. Yes. I'm not sure if that's gonna be easy. I don't think it will be. Let's just go for it. Ooh, that sucks. Are we gonna have to fight all of them now? What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. Oh gosh. Um, you land several blows but failed uh, to fell any infected. Um, you deflect uh, the retaliatory strikes. The rest of the infected turn uh, at the commotion and clamor towards uh, the two of you, arms thrashing. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, with a flurry of strikes, uh, you fell the infected before they can retaliate. Okay, at least one of them. Despite your efforts, the remaining infected uh, close in. Um, I think we'll be all right. We got a new corruption uh, damaging hammer now. Right, right, like, the freaking guy, like, totally just mocks you the whole time. Oh gosh, what is with that voting? Someone get off A. I would gladly take the minus 30, uh, or minus 20 gold. Look at that fucking thing. Bound with great longing for the taste of corruption and blight. Now this is a weapon I like to use. I had this in the beginning! Oh gosh, we got split now. Oh, I have no food left. Um, that appears to have been the last one. Kilburn remarks. Okay. Feel other paths. I need to camp. And trade for food. Because holy shit.
This is a terrifying mission. Well, no gold left, five food, so at least I'll survive. Alright, what do we got here? Grateful Hero! Alright, let's rush to their aid. Oh, uh, we're good. I can, I can, I can protect them. I do have to keep them all alive, that's no problem. We saved five citizens. Nice. You arrived just in time, the war explains. I don't think I could have fled, uh, held them off for much longer. Uh, I could part with some equipment, he continues. I don't think uh, it would do me much good now. Uh, see me if you're interested in a trade. Alright, you explained to Captain Fiora's plan to help the survivors on the wagons. Jeez. You don't understand this Twitch integration? Uh, basically you do hashtag A, B, and C uh, to give me certain like rewards every eight steps. Or, um, at a certain point, um, you can help me vote on um, chance cards and stuff like that. Alright, let me check out my inventory for a second. Let me just see how far we're going here. 17 to 50, alright, we're, we're getting there. It's going to take a lot more than that. Right. Some more streets. New paths discovered. What's going on here? I can't determine whether you're the sort of person to put their faith in goblins, or merely the sort to give their actions no thought. All right, let me see here. Right, yeah, there's certain weapons. Actually, what's kind of cool is I actually really like that. The weapons have like quests associated with them, uh, basically like unlocking new weapons and whatnot. It's really cool. Um, the tower um, is in chaos. Alarm bells have uh, in the garrison. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Alarm bells have uh, garrison soldiers in a panic. Uh, as you watch, a goblin with a hefty sack leaps from a window, dangling from the uh, a makeshift rope. Uh, he bounces painfully off the wall as he lowers himself to the ground. The castle doors uh, fly open, guards assemble, uh, armed in anger. Uh, the goblin uh, blows his horn, this uh, charging a little more than a feeble hiss. I need a moment to recharge this. Uh, help me, and I will split my takings. Uh, before you reply, he throws you an item from his sack. Here's your retainer, he says. The guards rush forward. Arrest them! Um, they're, uh, with the goblin. Oh, no. Uh, the red cards, uh, the red cards, those are like fire cards, so I can't step on them. Uh, it's sort of like blocking your path. Um, which is kind of interesting. Um. Am I gonna need help here? I think I'll be fine. Especially if we have a goblin also working with us. Great walls of fire, yeah, kind of. <laughs> One 
thing I also like about uh, these heavy weapons. Oh, dude. I was about to say that they charge the I was about to demonstrate that. Um, hearing the shouts of additional guards, the goblin summons a portal and drags you in. The three of you fall into a seemingly endless tunnel of swirling stars. You're fucking kidding me. You are absolutely fucking kidding me. Hey, Sabrof, how's it going? Uh, the portal spits you into a thorny shrub, uh, shredding your skin and garments. Um, your majestic disappearing act has become the talk of the town. Alright, before I lose all my gold, I'm going to spend it all on food. <laughs> Poison says, let this all. We actually pretty well set up for this mission, I gotta say, even though my health is low and all this sort of stuff. We actually have two uh, pieces of equipment that deal more damage to corruption, which is nice. Can we sell equipment? Um, that prevents stunted healing from the, our enemies. We might as well save on to them, we could always sell them. Uh, yeah, we're good. Right. Let's cook some food. Oh, let's cook some food. Save these dudes. Oh, burning rubble. Ooh, bad fortune. Ha <laughs> ha! Lol. Um. Alright, let's continue. We have to, we're at 52 of 60, so we're pretty good. Alright, what do we got here? Dead bodies looted the streets. Okay. More burning rubble. Alright, more city streets. Grateful citizens! Um, you happen upon a group of uh, frightened peasants desperately seeking safety. Uh, we hear the empires abandoned the city, they cry. Please help us. NICE! We got 60 of 60 citizens! Hell yeah! Beautiful. Let's go. Endless dark deeds have been done in the name of the Empire. <laughs> no subscriber! You set that ledger oh. right, at least in part. <laughs> my shit. Oh my gosh, thank you for the- Is that a five month resubscription? Holy shit! Thank you so much for the resubscription, Poison Rain. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Bunker J. Frickin' A. Um, at long last, you arrive at the final gatehouse. Uh, the exit out of the old city. Let's leave the old city. Uh, you usher the uh, frightened citizens through the gate. Uh, to their escape. Uh, thanks to you, she says with a smile. I doubt we could have uh, done anything more to help the uh, people of the old city. Ving atomic face. Oh man, look at all those Vingrads. Awesome, thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> thanks to you, she said. Oh yeah, I read that all right. Halt! A voice uh, shouts from beyond the gate. You turn to see a troop uh, of Empire soldiers uh, marching through the gatehouse. That's a lot of them. Uh, by decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fjord, uh, you are to return to the Imperial City once uh, at once to report, the captain demands. Uh, captain Fjord scoffs, uh, calling to the captain uh, blocking the gate. These people bear no mark of corruption. All they want is safe passage. Emperor, decree or not, this is our duty. it is our duty to protect them. 
I think it has to be, uh, it has to be, uh, subs, but you, you get what I'm saying. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, basically, uh, when you're an affiliate, um, it's sort of, it cuts your name in half, and then you put, like, the, the suffix of whatever emote you have there. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, if I was, uh, truly partnered, I'd probably go V-I-N-G and then that. So it's Ving Rad, the, um, if I was partnered. Which, I mean, the way you guys support me, it might be a possibility. Uh, Captain Fiora scoffs. Oh, wait, we read already. Ah! What good is a soldier who cannot follow commands? What is an empire without orders? The young captain retorts uh, proudly. By decree of the emperor, none are permitted to leave the city. Captain Fiora draws her pistol, standing between the towering, um, the cowering, uh, old city refugees. Uh, and the emperor's decree, I will not stand down. Right. Well, yeah, of course we're gonna have Estrella assist us. There we go. Now we got a full fucking battle going on! New emotes when? I don't know, Teradax. I can technically make one for two, tier 2 and tier 3 subs. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I, I have to look up when affiliates gain more emote slots. There's like a certain sub count I have to get to. He bears, uh, or he hears the pleas of the old city but does not weep. Orders are orders. Captains wear armor that dull standard attacks. Use bash to break their armor. I fight for justice, not simply as I ordered. This is how it must be. So be it. <laughs> Oh, that was devastating. I got stunned there for a second for some reason. Captain down. Oh, you went with a double strike there. You see that shit? These emperor decrees, uh, de uh, decreed injustices have been uh, on the increase of late, Captain Fior says. Something ill is growing from within. She pauses um, her ruminations and gives you a stern look. The empire would do well to have someone like you serving it. You have befriended Estrella the soldier. Fuck yeah, we did it. This is where you differ. There is no problem Callus would not have solved through death. Yet you show mercy. All right, we're finding a uh, safe passage through the plague-ridden city. Plague, alchemist, um, Yvonne's cottage, and street fighter. We're finding a safe passage. Okay, we also get Empire's burden, Archer's bane, uh, Felon's favor, and elusive charm. And for saving the blacksmith in the old city. Okay, we get Leather Arc. Alright, for befriending Estrella, we get the Mayor of Farwater and the Soldier. And this is for saving all of the 60 citizens on this map. We also get um, Rethgar's Quake and Grifter's um, Companion. Nice. 
Holy shit, that was a really hard fought mission there. Damn. Frickin' A. Well, we did I it, we got no gold. go easy on you. The usurper will not do so, and I must test you sorely before Whew. you arrive at his gates. That's crazy. All right, cool. Well, uh, the way that we're sort of doing um, our schedule right now is we play at least one mission to Hand of Fate 2 because I have no self-control and I feel like I need to play this once a day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we'll be continue on to our normal scheduled program, uh, which is Morrowind. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go to the title screen, uh, switch over to uh, Morrowind and do that stuff. So, stick around. I'll be back in one second, get Morrowind set up. And, um, yeah, I'll see you then.